All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you with some news out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So number 11th ranked strawweight Tisha Torres and 12th ranked strawweight Angela Hill are set to do battle again for the second time. And this news is coming out of MMA Junkie. They are going to be dueling at UFC number 256, which is scheduled for December 12th in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now these two first met back at UFC 188 in Mexico City on June 13th of 2015, where Tisha Torres met via unanimous decision. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the stats between these two. Torres coming in 11 and five, Hill coming in 12 and nine. Uh, Torres coming in off of a win over Brianna Van Buren three months ago. Before that, she had that long skid where she lost to Andrade, Joanna, Zan, Marina Rodriguez, before finally halting it against Brianna Van Buren. Angela Hill, however, is coming in off of two straight losses. First to Claudia Gadelia via split decision, and then to Michelle Waterson again via split decision. That one was a little over a month ago. Hill is the elder fighter by three years, 34 to Torres is 31 years. Hill will be the taller fighter, five feet three inches, six, excuse me, five feet three inches, 160 centimeters, to Torres is five feet one inch, 155 centimeters. And Hill will have a reach advantage as well. 64 and a half inches, 164 centimeters, to 61 inches, 155 centimeters for Torres. Now these two have been in the UFC for quite a while. Now Hill did go down and fight in Invicta for about a year, I believe, roughly. Well, let me look it up here real quick and just to be sure. Yeah, she spent all of 2016 down in Invicta. But for the most part, these two have been in the UFC for quite a while. Uh, Torres, since Ultimate Fighter, and Hill with that one-year break. But other than that, has been in the UFC. Uh, they do have some common opponents between the two of them. Both have fought Rose Namajunas. Torres went one and one against her. Hill has lost to, Hill took a loss to Namajunas. Both have fought Jessica Andrade, both surviving to the final bell, coming out with unanimous decision losses. And both have fought Michelle Watterson, Tisha Torres coming out of that fight with the unanimous decision win, Angela Hill uh, coming out with that split decision loss most recently. Now, a part of you has to wonder, is Torres going to try to take this same approach to this fight that she did the first fight? You know, the first fight... She basically did not waste time on the feet with Hill. She said, I'm just going to take you down. I know you're take down defenses that week, and her wrestling was that week. So she basically took Torres down, or excuse me, Torres basically took Hill down and, you know, kept her on the ground. Which, ever since then, somehow that fight has tainted people's view of Torres. People still to this day call her a wrestler, even though she is a striker based off of one fight. Um... Anyway, getting back to, will Torres try that same game plan? I, I doubt it. I think it would be a lot more difficult. Hill has worked on her takedown defense. Torres, you haven't seen her land too many takedowns against other opponents. So, so it'll be interesting to see how each fighter approaches this fight. Um, honestly, ultimately, I think it's going to come down to who can implement their game plan the better. If Torres is coming forward and can can basically like be the bully on the feet, I think she'll have a better time. She Torres primarily strikes better and fights better when she's the aggressor. If Hill is the aggressor, then it could be a long night for Tisha Torres. If I were Torres, I'd work to break down the movement of Angela Hill. Angela Hill relies a lot on her footwork, a lot of movement, a lot of moving around, a lot of busy footwork. I'd go for low kicks. For Hill, I'd try to keep Tisha Torres at longer range. She has the height advantage. She has the reach advantage. Try to keep Torres on the outside. But either way the fight goes, I think this should be a very good one and will almost undoubtedly be a lot more entertaining than their first fight. So those are my thoughts on this rematch. You know, I'm glad that the UFC went ahead with this. 
Not just because I thought both of them should fight each other after their last fights, which is verifiable. You can go check that. But I think this is a good fight for the cement, the rankings in the lower end of the division between 10 to 15. Um, right now, those rankings are a mess. A lot of fighters have dropped out of rankings or they've moved divisions. So like a lot of previously unranked fighters are now ranked. Um, Torres, chance to you know prove that she still belongs in there. Hill, this is her chance to prove that, hey, yeah, I can beat a fighter with a number next to their name. So it should be, make for an interesting fight. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it, though, in the comments down below. Of course, if you like the video, please give it a like and share it as well. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMA Scene Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.